in this video we will cover Newton's first law. Newton's first law says that an object at rest will stay at rest. An object in motion will continue at constant velocity unless there is an unbalanced force. By constant velocity, uh, we're saying that um, it will be moving at constant speed in a straight line. So if an object is moving and the f there's no unbalanced forces, in other words, the forces are balanced, uh, the object will continue moving at constant velocity or it will continue at constant speed in a straight line. Okay, so how does this relate to equilibrium? So I want to first draw a force diagram of first an object with no forces acting on it. And then I want to draw an object with balance forces. I know these are balanced because uh, the arrows on the other side of it are the same length. When the forces are balanced or there's no forces, um, an object that was at rest will stay at rest. An object in motion will continue at constant velocity. In this situation, we say that the object is in equilibrium. And equilibrium means that the net force, the net force is equal to zero, so F net. What do I mean by the net force? So let's say we have a force to the right of five newtons, or a force to the left of two newtons. So the net force, net force here, would be five minus two, it would be three newtons. So that's what we mean by net force. When the forces are balanced, when the forces are balanced, or if there is no forces, then the net force is zero. And when the net force is zero, we say that the object is in equilibrium. We can also use the Greek letter sigma F equal to zero. That also um, can be used as well uh, to represent that the net force equals zero. Now there are two types of equilibrium. The first type of equilibrium that we'll talk about is static equilibrium. And the second type we'll talk about is dynamic equilibrium. Static equilibrium is when an object is at rest. Dynamic equi equilibrium is when an object is moving at constant velocity. So we're going to take a look at uh, some examples of these in just a moment, but um, uh, actually we're going to graph these in just a moment, but let's first just take a look at an example. Um, so uh, something at rest, uh, it could be a large uh, boulder, and it doesn't have to be a boulder, just give you an idea. A large boulder, for example, has uh, a lot of mass, and so therefore it has a lot of inertia, a lot of resistance to change in motion. So it's not just going to suddenly move. There needs to be a lot of force um, to get it to move. Constant velocity example uh, would be like a hockey puck. Since a hockey puck is on ice, there's very little friction. Uh, and so it's uh, once it gets moving, it's going to want to keep on moving un until it hits the wall or hits uh, someone's hockey stick. Now let's take a look at uh, graphs for these. Uh, we're going to use graphs to represent um, something at rest. So if something is at rest on a position graph, it would look like this. On the velocity graph, it would look like this because it's not moving. So this is the velocity graph. So I just want to give you a graphical representation of something that is at rest. And then for constant velocity, we could represent it on the position graph like this. This is something moving at constant velocity. Constant velocity means the velocity is not changing. So over time, it's going to look like that. Or if it's going in the negative direction, it would look like this. 
and that's also constant velocity, but moving in the negative direction.